Hey guys, what's going on? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, and today I'm going to be going over Superman, The Man of Steel, the hardcover release of John Byrne's classic and nostalgia run of The Man of Steel. And just give me a look, I'll give you a little backstory on it. Up to the up to the 80s, before the 80s, Superman was really goofy. He had a lot of baggage from the Golden Age and especially the Silver Age. They weren't good at the Man of Steel. There was a lot of just goofiness to it. It didn't feel right. So DC decided to bring in John Byrne, and what he did was he reinvented the Man of Steel in a way that didn't change who he was, but just changed up a little bit of pieces to keep the whole what Superman is intact so that the audience of the 80s would, would grow to love him and, and accept him more. Instead of being this old school superhero that their parents liked, they updated him for that new generation. And this is the Superman that the people in the 90s and even now like because this is, they bring him back in uh, New 52 uh, when they do the whole, I mean, uh, not New 52, they bring him back in, in Rebirth after the New 52 Superman dies and this Superman takes over with his wife and son, Jonathan. Um, this was originally uh, supposed to be an omnibus, I think an absolute at one time, but you know, they finally released it. Unfortunately, it's not quite what I wanted. Uh, big letdown on that. This is just the standard hardcover. It's nothing, not one of the bigger ones or anything like that. Um, here's the, the dust jacket. It's the cover to Man of Steel 1. And what they, how they did the relaunch was they did kind of what Brian Michael Bendis just recently did with Superman. They started off with a mini series of Man of Steel where he just, you know, tweaked some of the storylines and then went right into number one. But, you know, just standard dust, dust jacket. We see the cover. See the spine. I mean, it's a thick book, but it's it's not big. Nothing's blown out of proportion. You know, and then we have the back. We have one of just, just a panel of Superman flying into action, doing his thing. Um, and then when you open it up, you have cool a cool photo of Superman flying up. And then you have Superman busting into something like the Kool-Aid Man. So this collects, you know, Man of Steel, that, that mini issue series that retold his origins. 1 to 6, Superman 1 to 4, and I know in that you're going to see uh, the new version of Metallo where they basically made him the Terminator. You're going to see, um, it's a blood sport. He's basically, um, is it blood sport or blood, sh I can't remember. Basically, he's he's who Idris Salvo is going to be playing in the new Suicide Squad movie. This is his first appearance. His story was, I just thought was really, really interesting. He's one of those random characters that come in and just, you know, kind of made a, a cool impression. Uh, he, you know. It's a, I don't know. It was fun. But let's get to the just to the look of it. You know, we got Superman doing his, his whole thing, standing there. We have the spine, just telling you what it is. And then we have pretty much the same image that was on the inside of the book. And as you can see, it's it's pretty much the same size of as just this is the trade that came out a while ago. A lot of these are out of print, and some of them can go for pretty money. So that's why I was so pumped for this to be an omnibus because I was hoping maybe, you know, in the first half it would all be in one. But there's probably going to be, you know, maybe three volumes of this, I'm guessing, possibly four. But this book holds up really well. And one of the things I really liked when, I'm, when I was looking at it and comparing it to the old material of the trades and the issues that I have in the back is they really didn't recolor this a whole lot. This book looks the same way it did when it originally came out. And for me, that was something that I really, really liked. Because DC, for me, has been notorious with it. They did it with the Neil Adams Batman one. They recolored it, and the book, the books don't look the same. They did it again with the Absolute Swamp thing that just came out. It, they didn't do it as bad, but they did it just enough to for me to notice and a lot of other people. So it was really, really great that they kept the storyline. I mean, um, the the way that this book was presented back in the '80s intact, and just just to show you just how the, how how great this book looks, guys. This is a fun Superman read. I mean, this brought Superman back in a way that a lot of people really weren't anticipating. This is what, this is why people like Superman now. If you like that animated series, if you like anything like the, the kind of sort of the Dean Cain had had some had some kind of uh, he kind of had some similarities to it, but really the animated series of the '90s is heavily inspired by this. Uh, the way that they look on Krypton, and this is how they dress in this book. He was the one that brought that to the fold, and John Byrne really, uh, really saved Superman. I think that's the best way you could say it. Superman is kind of on his last last limbs on, on some of the 70s books. They're bad. like He's just doing the goofiest, stupid stuff. It's just bad comic books, but this really saved him. It was 
It wasn't Dark Knight style storytelling where you know you got Frank Miller doing what he did with Daredevil and that. It maintained fun. Like it, this is these are fun comics for all ages that a lot of people should read. And this is actually pretty cheap. The price on this retail is. 50 bucks. So if you're buying this on in-stock trades, you're probably going to pay anywhere from like 25 to 30 bucks or cheapgraphicnovels.com or, you know, wherever you go to get your discounted trades. This is a great, great buy for the heavy duty collectors. I'm a big Omni guy. I really, I just love how they look on the shelf. You get a lot of bang for your buck and the quality is incredible. And it's just a really nice collector piece. I was, I was crushed that this wasn't you know, an Omni or an Absolute or just give me an, an Absolute hardcover. I mean, with those absolutes, you know, we, we get a lot of, in the Omnis, we get a lot of extras. The extras that we get are really the same exact ones I got in the trade. Just these, you know, these giant, uh, these these bios on, on characters. They used to do them back in, with Marvel. Marvel would do this with the Fantastic Four when they were introducing characters. You have, you know, Lois Lane. Who's Lois Lane? The new Metallo. Um, Bizarro, Bloodsport. And that's Bloodsport. That's, that's who uh, Idris Elba is in the new uh, Suicide Squad movie. But this is a really great book to check out. I had a lot of fun rereading it. I've probably re I read these story I read these stories on issues, the trades, and having this finally in a really cool looking hardcover is 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 the cake for me. Even though it's not completely what I wanted, I think DC did this so that they could sell more copies because the Omnis are very pricey and they only appeal to a select market being the collectors and the guys that go after that stuff. With the regular hardcover at that $50 cover price, knowing that people are going to go online and, and maybe buy it cheaper, I think this was probably the better way. I really enjoy this book, guys. If you love Superman, if you haven't read John Burns' one, I highly encourage you to go out and get this hardcover. The trades are really going to be hard to find, especially like when you start going into volumes 5 and 6 and 7 and that. They are very, very scarce out there, and you're going to be paying a lot of money on eBay. For 25 bucks. the quality and how this book holds up, even reading it today, it aged like fine wine. This is classic Superman stuff. This is the gold standard to what a Superman comic should be. Please, guys, if you haven't read it, check it out. As always, guys, give us a like, give us a subscribe, hit us up in the comment section. I, I love having this dialogue with you guys, and especially if it's, if it's Superman, I'll definitely be getting back to you. Thanks, guys.